Whoa, something has compelled me to check my email. Ding. Dear Strongman, I mean, <clears throat> Greg, how can I feed my large Mexican family breakfast before I go to work in the morning? This is a problem only you are intelligent enough to solve. Sincerely, Hungry and Santa Fe. Well, I have just the greatest thing ever, because as everyone who knows me knows, I love to cook. So let's go get this going. All right, so making the pancakes can be really, really easy, because all you gotta do is just have, you know, the basics. We've got a bowl right here with a spoon for stirring and a pan underneath for panning. We've got buttermilk pancake mix, some water, two limes right over here, and some high quality grade A guacamole. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to mix all this stuff together. Oh, okay, I'll show you. So we're going to start by making pancakes like you normally would. we got one cup of pancake stuff, powder. We got a three-fourths cup of pancake water. Now, we're gonna mix that together until it makes pancake batter. So, stir in it, stir in it, add water, stir in it. It takes a lot of stirring to make pancakes because, quite frankly, pancakes are a bitch. Um, I don't really like pancakes very much. Amy likes pancakes, so I make Amy pancakes all the time. And these are her favorite pancakes to eat, and you'll soon see why. Okay, we got pancake mix here now. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take the juice of two limes, half limes, <laughs> which makes it a whole lime. We take the juice of one whole lime, pour it in our pancake bag. Okay, pancake, that gives the pancakes a limey flavor. I mean, it's good for these pancakes. We're also going to take one heaping spoonful of guacamole. Okay, we're going to throw that in there and mix it together. Now, something I didn't put on the ingredients list, we have Parmesan cheese. This just kind of adds a little more to the thing, so we can get that. All right, so you mix it all together, and then you've got to get ready to put it in the pan. All right, now what you got to do now is you got to get your pan really hot, really, really hot, and then cool it down really fast because you don't want to burn your pancakes. You gotta get some butter on the pan. Butter on the pan to keep the pancakes from sticking. Ooh. And now you wanna get a scoop of pancake mix and just kinda of slap it right in the center. It'll form its own little circle eventually. Um, so, put your pancake mix in there, okay. You gotta the heat up, and then you gotta let it sit there for a couple minutes until it's all bubbly, okay? When it's about ready to flip it, you can just kinda of do one of those cool things where you stand back and you Okay, so, it's what it's flipped, okay. Now we're gonna let it wait there for just a minute, and when it's cooked on this side, then we're gonna do it, but it's not done yet, so we gotta give it a few minutes like that. All right, now what you gotta do when it's done, we're just gonna take these other two right here, and we're gonna flip it all on the stack right there. And then we gotta garnish it. All right, so what you're gonna do after you've got your nice, neat stack of pancakes is you're gonna have to garnish it because your food has got to look good. Okay, $42,000 taught me that much. Good looking food means good looking people will eat it. When good looking people eat your food, you get money. We're gonna start with a quenelle made out of peanut butter. Peanut butter and avocados go very well, so that would make the guacamole thing a really good thing. So, and then we're gonna have to garnish the plate because we don't wanna overcrowd the food. So we'll start by in the center placing a big triangle of jello. Now, jello really brings out the flavor in pancakes, which is a great thing. Next to jello, we're gonna make some lines with our ketchup on the side. Okay, with that, after that we're gonna to have to get some of this guacamole. And the guacamole is gonna kind of free flow from off the pancake, just because free flowing things rock. Now, we're gonna garnish with a little lime on this side so it looks good. And then, when all is said and done after that, candies, candies, candies. All right, so that's it. It's just, it's really simple to make good food at home. I mean, it's all it takes is a little creativity you know, a little time, a little patience, a little effort, and really, anybody can cook at their own house. It just, oh, ooh, so good.